as this podcast goes to press, so to speak, it's breaking news that the judge in the Chauvin trial has said that Maxine Waters' hatred and stirring up mobs for more violence were not only abhorrent, but the judge said she may have given the cop Chauvin an argument for appeal. I don't think you understand how big this is. If a Republican had done what Maxine Waters did with her big, fat, disgusting pig mouth, that Republican would have been thrown out on his keister right away. But as you well know, in Animal Farm, some animals are more equal than others. So after the prosecutors and defense attorneys presented their closing arguments in the trial, the defense actually moved for a mistrial because of the comments by Maxine Waters. And by the way, the judge, Peter Cahill, acknowledged that Big Mouth Maxine may have actually given the defense an argument to use for this appeal. He even scolded this Big Mouth radical for making disrespectful and abhorrent comments on the case. My friends, listen very carefully. Maybe, just maybe, there'll be a benefit to this horrible case, and that will be that Maxine Waters will finally be thrown out of Congress and go where she belongs Working for Jesse High Jackson is where she belongs at best. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare because a man's life is hanging in the balance right now after another man's life was taken from him. But let's get back to the issue at hand, which is the violence, the social upheaval in this country as part of a world liberal revolution. Ronald Reagan said we will preserve for our children this the last best hope of man on earth, or we will sentence them to take the first step into a thousand years of darkness. Obama took us on that first bold step. If we don't stop Biden and his gang, we will have a thousand years of darkness. This podcast is not just about the coming civil war in America. It's also about the conflict that the Biden administration is pushing in the name of a broader worldwide liberal revolution. They're part of it. You see, the forces of the left are attempting nothing less than a socialist takeover of the world economy and global politics, which they have virtually succeeded in grabbing as a result of COVID. They have masked us. They have muted us. They have shot us up with vaccines, which I will talk about another day. And they are now controlling the economy. 